My son Michael, if you are reading this letter, then I have passed away. My greatest regret in life is not being able to meet you. It would honor me greatly if you could do one final favor for me. Go find Marianne Harrison. She was my caretaker when I was ill. She has been instructed to give you a very precious relic I found during my days in China. I have attached a picture of her house to this letter. Defend this relic no matter what happens. But remember our culture, Michael. Take this as an opportunity to make a new peaceful life for yourself here in America. I leave you now, my son. I am deeply sorry for my absence in your life, and I am sure I would be proud of the man you have become. Love, Connor Mason. Yes, may I help you? Hi, I'm Michael Hu. I got a letter from my father saying I should meet someone named Marianne Harrison. Oh, you, you must be Mr. Mason's son. Come on in. I'll get that base for you right away. Alright, thanks. This thing must have been worth a fortune. Yeah, it probably is. Anyways, I better be going. Thanks for your family taking care of my dad. Um, why don't you stay a while? Why? What's wrong? Um, there have been these guys wandering around the neighborhood. What were they looking for? They've been trying to steal the vase. Why? What were you wrong with it? I don't know. No. Go hide over there. What do you want? We saw someone come in here. Who was it? There's no one here. It's only me. Like hell there is! Seriously? Who uses these anymore? We got the face! We got the face! Go, 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 go! After 19 long years. Finally, have this 15 billion dollar relic that it was kept from me by by your father. What? I don't even know why I'm talking to you about this. It doesn't make any difference to you anyway. That relic was my father's. I was supposed to protect it with all my life. It's mine now. You better you better just forget this ever happened. Hey, you okay? Yeah, fine. Face. It's my father's livelihood. I failed him. Oh yeah, there. So, lucky for us, I snagged a pic of that boss looking guy. I googled it and here's what came up. His name is Remy Ashi, and apparently this guy was part of the Chinese Special Forces. Special Forces? My dad served in that when I was little. This Remy Ashi character is a trained killer. Well, apparently he knows Kung Fu. Don't underestimate him. Anyway, he had a friend named Shen Wong. This is what he looks like. I saw that guy at the door. Well, we're also in luck because I was able to find out where he hides out. How? That doesn't matter right now. Where's Remy? I don't know. Ask Shen Wong. He hangs out at the beach. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe we can get some information from him. You ready to get the show on the road? As you wish! Start talking! What do you want? Where did you take the vase? Why do you want it? Who's this Remy guy? Relax, Michael! I'll talk! I'll talk! <sighs> Listen, Remy Yanchi, up until 19 years ago, served in the Special Forces in China. He was a friend of your father's, who, as you know, also served in the Special Forces. They fought alongside each other until a mission went very wrong. The mission was to secure a very valuable vase worth billions upon billions of dollars from enemy hands, but the promise of money corrupted Yanshi, and we went 
to insane lengths to see the mission completed, even killing innocent people who got in his way. Your father saw this evil in his heart and decided that the world would be a better place if Yanshi did not have the relic and by extension billions of dollars at his disposal. He hid the relic from Yanshi and this drove Yanshi even crazier. He was eventually expelled from the military. Afterward, he founded our gang in an attempt to locate the relic. Our 19 year search was in vain until you showed up. He hides in the parking lot overlooking the city. But where did he want the vase? Where did he want the money? I don't know! I was just in it for the money! I swear! Well, I guess I'll just ask him myself. <laughs> Does he know who we are? I didn't say anything. Oh, what an idiot. Everybody get out of here. I'll handle this myself. So you're here? Yeah. I just want to know, why? Why would you do all this? Simple, kid. That base is the big payoff. Do you know how much power 15 billion dollars is? So it's all about power? I'm not talking about, you know, a couple of idiots with guns. I'm talking about armies, entire nations. With 15 billion dollars, I can start my own private army. There are no shortage of enemies that China has, kid. Inside a rebellion, start the second Chinese civil war? You're insane. I'm gonna stop you. All right then, sweetheart. Come on, then. Don't be gentle. Thank <laughs> you.